modern cars are so complicated these days. It's, it's, it's a wonder as to what's underneath all that plastic. Yeah, well, most people don't uh, never lift a bonnet on a new car. There's no need. They're very complicated. Uh, you know, there's no need to get your spanners out anymore. But there's so many safety features on them, and you've got ABS on, on all the wheels. Some are four-wheel drive. This has got an ECU which controls the, the engine management mm. and tells the engine what to do and controls the fuel economy. And then in the cabin obviously there's all the good stuff like seat belts and airbags uh, that have been developed over the past 20 years. Most of it's passive so the drivers don't always know about it. Uh, but it's all there just to help the driver out and if the driver gets into trouble uh, to keep them safe. Yeah. The seat belts have saved about 60,000 people's lives so anti-lock braking is probably, I wouldn't be surprised if it saved just as many because the, um, the energy involved in, um, uh, if you increase the speed from 30 to say 45 miles per hour, uh, it doubles, so the, the amount of energy involved in a collision is just enormous, so the chance of surviving a 45 mile crash as a 30 is much, much smaller. Mm. So the amount, of, the amount of metal and plastic that's in these cars, if people don't realise the amount of energy and the damage that it can do if it hits a pedestrian or even if you hit a solid object, and uh, 1,798 people died last year on the roads. You know, it's a massive number, you know, but people just don't see it or accept it. So anything that can be done to improve driving standards and vehicle safety is a great thing. And I think they're, what they're, uh, they're controlling the speed of vehicles so that they drive to the speed limit will really, really reduce uh, fatalities and serious injuries down by an enormous amount. And that's where it would, it's just tremendous that the European uh, Commission is suggesting that car makers basically connect up all the technology we've already got in the cars to actually make sure that they're always traveling at, uh, within the speed limit and uh, potentially that could save thousands of lives not just in the UK but uh, right across uh, the whole of uh, the continent um, so tremendous breakthrough potentially.